In a game of fits and starts, North burst from the blocks in the opening quarter against the Lions at the MCG, just as you would expect a premiership contender to do against the bottom team in the competition. Seven first quarter goals, and with Wayne Carey spending the day at centre half back on Dion Scott. And Scholl, not a bad couple of options. A Shepherd will be handy, that's a goal. And finds McDonald. So the youngster, 200 centimetres. Bo McDonald has the ball thumped back. Grant can set it up for North Melbourne. Finds Harvey on 50. He's a goal kicker. Bangs it away and drills it. Lynch can rocket the ball wide, looking for Scott. Brad Scott oh. tries to get the ball back. Archie intercepted it. Read it beautifully. Kicks long. The race is on. Here's Harvey, the danger man. This is great play by Harvey. He's going to kick a goal. Sensational play. Kicks the ball down towards centre half forward. There's the high flying and big fist of Alistair Lynch. Kicked off the ground by. Somehow the Lions fought back in the second to level the scores before the ruse surged again. As Dennis Pagan would say later, this was just a hard slog. Within three points, but again, North Melbourne answers the challenge. Thrown on the half forward line. Big pack of players rock. Quick kick. McKernan tried a fresh air shot, then did the crumbing, grabbed high, thrown to the ground, no free. Winston Abraham, the exciting machine, runs into the open goal. Bangs it through. Scholl. McKernan hits it pretty hard, punches the pack. Hewitt at the back. Caught in a good tackle by Brad Scott. Robert Scott. It's close. I'm not sure I'll have to wait. He got it. While Carey would have 26 possessions, including a dozen marks, it would not be enough to attract the umpire's eyes. Rock and Bell would share the minor votes this day behind Brownlow medalist Michael Voss. One pleasing aspect of the Ruse win would be five goals from Corey McKernan, who was running back into form. In the end, north by 17 points. So Corey McKernan, from 40 metres out, this will hurt. He's kicked a very good goal. Leeds covered. Kicked by Pike, short of half forward. Oh, Hewitt, the youngster, made a good contest. Comes to Robert Scott. One out is McKernan with Dick Voss. Oh, Dick Voss let it get behind him. McKernan for goal. It bounces through. Grant, quick snap. Oh, he's kicked the ripper. A great goal to Shannon Grant. This player's been set up. He finds Pike, edge of the centre square. He's going to kick the ball long. Shannon Grant wants to run onto the ball as well. He hooks it across his body. Winston Abraham punched away, picked up by Welsh. Hooks it around the corner. I think the youngster's kicked it. He has. McKernan, five. Harvey, four. And Shannon Grant, 24 touches. We were concerned about where we were going to play Corey and uh, what we do with him, but uh, his performance today to kick five was uh, pretty special and we were pleased with that and he's come forward very quickly. Now that he's basically established his fitness, will that shuffle things around and maybe see Carey at centre-half forward next week? We'll just play it uh, horses for course and we'll have a look at the matchups from the other from the opposition who we play. Um, it probably suits us at the moment to have Wayne uh, centre half back and Corey forward. Corey goes in the ruck, maybe we have Wayne uh, going back to forward and there'll be uh, no matter what happens, there'll be stages where Wayne will play uh, forward during the game. It would be Fremantle's proudest moment. The Saturday night at the Wacker, in which they toppled the mighty North Machine.